Seems easy for companies these days to make smaller and smaller laptops, which I love. But why aren't any companies making big laptops? Like laptops this big. Today we're gonna find out because we're gonna try to make the world's biggest laptop. Yeah, we are. <laughs> it weighs a hundred pounds. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no, I just realized it's sideways. It's not level. It's not level. Why does this feel illegal? This is a big laptop. Now it wouldn't be too crazy to make the world's biggest laptop because the biggest laptop right now, Caitlin made a mock-up of it, is only 21 <clears throat> inches. Like that's a big laptop, that's a big laptop, but it's not that big. Let's, let's go bigger. The common monitor size is 32 inches. That, that's impressive. That's a big laptop. That's a big laptop. This seems doable. The biggest barrier to making this project a reality is going to be batteries and the draw from such a big monitor uh -huh. and from the computer I'm going to try to run this off of. Now we could <clears throat> go even bigger. <laughs> With a 43 inch laptop. I'm so productive because my monitor is so big. Is that you typing with like a fist at a time? <laughs> <laughs> and this might give me enough room for a desktop, two batteries, and any, any other like peripherals. I think this is the laptop we're gonna aim for. Oh my God. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for all your website needs. As wonderful as this cardboard model is for scale, I've been working on the 3D model and a lot of it is based around my favorite thing. Aluminum extrusion. Did you hit a lamp? Aluminum extrusions. Aluminum extrusions. So the aluminum extrusions plus one locking hinge right here will form the backbone of the laptop. And then we're gonna use plywood and attach those to the aluminum extrusion. Now, probably the hardest part of all of this is trying to find all of the electronic components that are an inch and a half or two inches max height, because we wanna generally keep this laptop sized. And the laptop sized? You mean, mean like laptop proportioned? Laptop proportioned, La laptop proportions. Look at that, you can just tuck that under your arm. Nice and convenient. So it's probably gonna end up being like 50 pounds or more. Nice and convenient. Nice and convenient. Now, so much of this hinges on us being able to build a hinge framework. So maybe we start there. It up. Now tap that. <laughs> We're tapping a hole in the end of this so that we can screw in the hinge. All right. <laughs> it works! Yeah. It's in. <laughs> it opens! Cool. But now, let's put the TV on it. The monitor. <laughs> Our monitor. <laughs> I put some paper on the back to use <sighs> as a template. Now I hope when we peel this off, it's gonna be accurate. So if anything's wrong, it's your fault. If anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Will you give it the stamp of approval? That way I can partially blame you. Okay, thank you. Now, I, I didn't finish getting my engineering, my professional engineering stamp, so my stamp's only worth so much. Beautiful. We should still like measure the yeah, distance yeah, we, and we'll, make we'll, sure. We'll, we'll generally mark it and then we'll. I think that yours what, what is. What does that mean? No, we don't, we don't do that. Now that the approximate locations of the holes are marked, we're gonna laser cut a template to make sure that relatively to each other, what? They're gonna be perfectly precise. We're laser cutting a template? But, but. Why did I even make this? We need both. Your, your work is very important. <laughs> Oh 
Time to drill. <clears throat> oh, here. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, God. Get it out. Get it out. Okay. <laughs> All right. I go. Go. I... Go. Do what? <laughs> Screw me. Screw. Does it feel like a sin? I don't know. I'm screwing and nothing's happening. Go, come no, on, come it, on. Yeah, it's, yeah, happening, it's, happening, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> Is it happening? I don't think so. All right. Let, let go of it. So you're not touching? I'm not touching it. It's holding up. Let <laughs> <laughs> me tighten all the hinges. Batten down the hatches. Ugh. It's holding this. Hey, that's all we need. That's all we need. That's a laptopy angle. That's a laptopy angle. Wee wee wee. New merch drop alert on shopevanandcaitlin.com. We just dropped our Words Are Hard chalk collection. Caitlin designed this sidewalk chalk inspired lettering, and you can get it on tees, hoodies, long sleeve shirts, and stickers. On the hoodies and long sleeves, there's even a cute sleeve detail that will have you bending your arm in all sorts of directions just to show it off. This design is only available for three weeks between now and March 10th at shopevanandcaitlin.com, so make sure to snag it while you can. It's a good business decision and will make you live longer. Evan and Caitlin are not qualified to guarantee business or health-related claims. All right, all of the electronics are staged and in with one key exception, the keyboard that we chose. <gasps> Oh my god. <gasps> it's as big as you! <laughs> this is so good. Oh, this is just what I was hoping for. It's so big. It's so weighty. Once you plug this in, Caitlin, that oh completes god. the look. Now this computer is pretty powerful. It can draw up to 260 watts. One of the hardest parts in all of this was getting a power source that outputs enough wattage and is thin enough to fit within mm -hmm. this like two inch space that we have right here. Cause our worry was like, if this gets too thick, it's just gonna look like a big briefcase or something. And that's not what we want. We have a whole battery for the TV, a whole battery for the computer, and then another battery for all of the LEDs that are gonna be we running have to, everywhere. We have to have LEDs. <clears throat> now, how will we know if anything's like drawing too much power? Um, well, first off, editor blur my very secure password. Now in my tests, booting it wasn't that big of a power draw. Running it idle like this isn't too big of a power draw. I think we need to boot up a video game, see if we get the blue screen of death. The computer tries to draw too much power and it, it, it just dies. <laughs> don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Do something, do something, <laughs> do something, do something. Oh, it's loading. It's loading. Music is playing. Maybe turn the music off. <laughs> I don't want to get too, like, <laughs> coffee struck. Hey, yeah! Hey, well, We're in a video game! Don't you need to, like, uh, get it going, though, to see if it's going to no, crash No, no, this, this, this is good. Once it's good in enough? here, yeah. Okay, well, now that we know it works, I think it's time we take the whole thing apart so we can make it look more like a laptop. I know we're not done with this build yet, but I feel like it's going to be so stylish and easy to use that we should really consider selling giant laptops. Ooh, I'm 100% in. Good thing we already have an online shop at failyourbutt.com thanks to today's sponsor, Squarespace. I think setting up a new product on our Squarespace website will literally be the easiest part of this whole project. We already have our perfect domain, but if you need one, you can buy it through Squarespace. These laptops might be a little expensive to ship, but Squarespace lets you offer local pickup to your customers. And if you're a video creator, you might be interested in their Video Studio app, which lets you create pro-level videos easily. Or maybe you're an artist or photographer who wants to share their work. You can build your portfolio with Squarespace. And if you want to restrict some content just for paying members, you can do that that too. If you've been thinking about making a website, this is your sign to do it. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to pull the trigger, go to squarespace.com slash Evan and Caitlin for 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. It's been longer than I'd like to admit since the electronics test earlier, and I'm starting to lose track of everything we've done recently, but here it goes. We realized all the batteries would just slide everywhere when we moved this thing, so I 3D printed a bunch of custom brackets to hold them down. Was there a simpler way to do this? Maybe, but this makes me happy. Next, we had to figure out how to hold the LEDs in place around the laptop. So I cut some trim pieces down to size and routed a slot down the length of them to make a perfectly snug place for the LEDs. 
And lastly, since the screws we had used on the back of the laptop were temporary and stuck out a lot, I swapped everything to countersink screws so it would be flush. That's when I noticed something was wrong and I went to get Caitlin. Come on out. I was trying Is to- something wrong? I was trying to ignore an issue, but like, have you noticed it? An issue with- It's too big. <laughs> no. It's too small. No. What is it? It's, it's crooked. Oh. It's like a big gap here, tiny gap here. It's way too low. There's all this huge gap at the top and it's crooked. <laughs> don't, don't drop it. That'd make me even more sad. <laughs> Scrape off our mistakes. <laughs> Down, down. Is it, is it straight? Is it level? Was it worth it? Can you guys even tell the difference? <laughs> it's not level. It's not level. This is better though. No, it's literally just as crooked. It looks, I love it. It looks great. Very nice. So together, we came to the conclusion that it was good enough and we decided to spray paint everything black. <laughs> it's fine. No, it's, it's fine. So we got everything painted, but before we reassemble it, we had the thought that now might be a very good opportunity to add some resin. I designed a custom emblem. <laughs> of course it's the supervisor. That can go on the back of our laptop. So to carve it, we're gonna use our Stepcraft CNC. Oh no. You guys, I just realized it's sideways. The logo is sideways. Is it okay? It's sideways. Do we have to start over? What if the logo was just sideways? No! I think that's a stylish look. I'm not pleased <laughs> with this. Go for it. Why does this feel illegal? Yeah, like we're vandalizing something at night. This is the proper orientation, right? This is right. Is this, that right? It should, it should be. You're sure? As sure as I can get. <laughs> All right, it looks good. It's perfect. Yay! Now, we just cannot mess up during resin time. Resin time, resin time. Do, 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 resin time. Okay, so. <laughs> These colors are bold. They are bold. You know, it's not gonna be like a lit emblem, but we wanted it to feel very bright. So yeah. we went with neon. <laughs> now the purple, which is where we're starting, is a bit dark. We're gonna do this at the top. Is the purple too dark? Uh. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. Do we do that to all of them? Well, we could.
Yeah, that looks good. Don't drip. I feel like it's gonna drip. I have a paper towel. I just really don't want to drip. Yeah. There's no trash can over here. Okay. You with me? Oh my God. Oh man, look at that. That looks Heck nice. yeah. Look at those skills. Such a fun gradient. Look how bright the colors are. I love this. Okay, now her face is gonna be these colors plus, oh God, I have an itch on my face. <sighs> ah! Where, where, where's the itch? I got it. It's, it's on my upper lip, under my nose, yeah. Okay, so again, I'll start at the top with the purple. Looks like she has a workout band on. Yeah. <laughs> Orange eyes. Ooh, yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's fun. That's a bold color. Are you ready for another bold one? She looks like a fruit snack. I think the orange needs more. I think the orange needs more. Look swirl. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. At this point, I fired up our Glowforge again to make a cool case for some electronics I wanted to add that let us switch between battery power and line-in power. Next, we're gonna cover the electronics guts with these big sheets of ABS, which should make things look a bit more finished. So we cut holes for the keyboard, the trackpad, and the monitor. Then we added little windows so we could keep an eye on the battery status. Now, at this point, we noticed the big gap at the hinge, so we got some flexible vinyl to cover it. And as the finishing touch, we put our LEDs in place and the build was complete. Lights on. <laughs> oh man. This is a big laptop. It's a big laptop. It looks like a big laptop. Although like, in, like there's an optical illusion. It also looks like there's just a normal size laptop a lot closer than us. But it does like, kind of look like that. But like when we're apart from it, it just looks like it's close. But now. But then. This is, this is amazing. This is a real thing. <laughs> the lights, the finishing pieces, the keyboard lit up. Like it looks like a big laptop. Success. It's crazy. Success. 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 Introducing the BFL, big fun laptop. It's great for playing video games with your partner. Getting work done without straining your eyes. Working out and impressing your friends and family. Oh my God! <laughs> that is hysterical. I dig the big screen. I'm, I'm completely for that. I just want to know who's laughing at Andre the Giant? It weighs 100 pounds. Oh my God! <laughs> Get yours now for three easy installments of $999. Evident kids are not responsible for injuries due to the crushing weight of the BFL Big Fun Laptop. It requires shin padding. It's a good 100 pounds. You think there's 100? Yeah. Uh, nice and comfortable. Open this up for you. <laughs> you know, as you can see, it's convenient. Look at her feet sticking out. You get a nice workout. You're very special. Thank you. I think the word cool comes to mind. 